garden with my friends. It's hard. But for them, the Colonel's death signaled the end of their journey. And the beginning of a new life on the shores of Lake Baikal. For me, the loss became a threshold between the Order and my own life. Between duty and my dream to see Dad again. And, like Artyom before, I chose to pursue my wild dream. Along the way, I sometimes felt that the trees, ruins, and leaning wire posts vanishing behind were just an endless movie reel projected onto a ragged screen just for me. Lonely late night viewer in an empty theater. <laughs> Yet every morning, the sun rising dead ahead brought another change of scenery, making sure that I was, in fact, getting closer to the Pacific. One step at a time, slowly but steadily. No matter the obstacles on the way. One day, <laughs> sitting in a recliner on my dad's porch, I might actually be tempted to start a book about this trip or something. One day. But not here. Not now. I see the town that's to become my springboard for a leap across the ocean, and I smell salt in the air. If there really is even a slight chance of me ever getting home, I will find it here. <laughs> Saying my goodbyes to Dad before going to Russia. I promised him this was going to be my last tour of duty. Besides, I, I wasn't going to war. I expected a cushy job guarding the embassy. How could I know that instead of a cushy job, waiting for me were mushroom clouds, desperate struggle, salvation, and a tour of duty that would last 20 years? But as soon as Artyom's dogged determination to break out of the tunnels paid off the way it did, I hoped to see my father again took root. As we were going east, that hope grew. By the time we reached Novosibirsk, going home was the only thing I could think about. Only duty before my commander and my friends kept me from leaving immediately. But my service with the Order came to an end on the shores of Lake Baikal. There, on that hill, through the terrible pain of loss, I could feel that my friends had also found... closure. Their journey was over. Not mine, though. The hope that's been nagging on me for so long now turned into an obsession. The purpose of my life. I had to go. And my friends who had long since become my family only understood. As I'm entering the outskirts of Vladivostok, I know I was immensely lucky to have gotten even this far. But since fate chose to take me here, to the Pacific, I must do everything I can to find a way home. And see my old man again. Привет, Владивосток.
lost, you idiots! Watch out, boys! Don't get hit! Don't fucking kill him! Shoot his legs if you must! I'm warning you! Next time I'll shoot to kill! What else would you have me do? I guess that's all! I'm not greedy! Ha <laughs> ha! Don't worry, we ain't gonna kill you! The Kingpin wants you alive! And how do you know what he wants? I have my sources! As for you, stop wasting my time and come out! Show yourself, so I know where to go! Fucking year! Much obliged! You motherfucker! You got our boss! Shoot the fucker, boys! <laughs> You're welcome to try it! I have enough ammo for all of you! <laughs> I think we got all of them! Thanks for your help! Come up here and let's talk! All right! helped you. Put it down right now! All right. I'm not looking for trouble. I'm looking for a ship that could take me home. You know any good ones? <laughs> we only have one ship here, and she's a looker. Come, I'll show you. Careful over here. It's a long fall. You don't want to join those poor bastards. They keep chasing me, trying to earn favor with the cat. At least they want to get me alive. Get your spyglass. You can see her perfectly from here. She's right over there. Okay, wow. A submarine? It's freaking huge. Nice ticket home. Speaking of your home, where is it? Your accent seems vaguely familiar. San Diego. Damn, another American. Seriously, talk about coincidence. Another American? Danu! Looks like you really don't know anything. I'll tell you later. Huh? We've got to scram. What the hell is that? The Batwing! Let's get out of here before it gets us. Follow me.
bastards! Come and take it! You're coming with us! Take him alive! Take this! Fuck off! Go to hell! Coming here, I knew it wasn't going to be easy. But I hoped that if push came to shove, I could always pay for my passage to the States working as a crewman on a boat. The fact is that there are no boats here. Just a huge sub that a man calling himself Captain pointed me to. I don't think I can just buy a ticket and board this monster that could have launched missiles at my home years back. Our meeting was cut short. But I still think that not antagonizing the man was a good call. Now he'll probably be inclined to hear what I have to say if we meet again. Did you hear him swear when we got him? Fuck you all! Bastards! I kill ya! That's American for sure. How do you know it's American when you're not that good at Russian? Well, I did hear American in the movies, before the war. He could have seen some, too. By the way, he's up. Hey, where are you from, pal? From Moscow. Look, aren't you an American, pal? <laughs> no, I'm a Buryat. <sighs> All right, you got me. I am an American. <laughs> <laughs> there you have it. No shit. <laughs> no wonder you gave us so much trouble before we nabbed you. It's just not my day. Huh? <laughs> Looks like it. Well, you might still change your opinion. Hey, guys! Turns out we caught an American! We'd better call Cat now and report! Wow! Mace, deliver here. Patch me through to Cat. I got news for you. All right, standing by. Kill the engine, guys! We're to stand by! Speaking of this not being your day, see what's over I there. I do. It's clouds. <laughs> clouds? This is a storm, pal. Yep, a storm. And storms here are not your regular storms. They can ruin your day like nowhere else. You're lucky we took you in when we did. Back on the bridge, switching over. Got it. Rev up and head to the sub! So, what have you got? Did you deliver the offer to the captain? Nah, he got spooked by some small fries. We know the guy was with him, though. Turns out the guy's an American. Uh, are you fucking with me? <laughs> Please, boss! He swore like you on a bad day! Oh, I see. Uh, pass the radio to that American, will you? Okay, I feel stupid for even considering this shit, but just in case, who are you? Lance Corporal Samuel Taylor, U.S. Marine Corps. <laughs> wow, just... wow. Yeah, I have trouble believing it myself. Holy 
Splash! Now tell me, who of us knew he was an American all along, huh? Haha! <laughs> wow. Impressive, huh? It's all ours. Impressive. Look, it's the boss. You too, Tom. Is this ship yours? Can I book a ticket? Book a ticket? <laughs> That's a good one. Uh, follow me. Let's talk. So, where did you want to go? San Diego, one way. California. <laughs> oh, truly. A heaven on Earth. Uh, save for the traffic in LA, of course. That was hell. <clears throat> Look, man. Uh, remind me. What was the name of your baseball team? Padres. Right! Oh, our team used to play them often. I'm from Seattle, you know. <sighs> Mariners, if you think any further check is in order. Nothing personal, Lance Corporal. These are tough times. Of course. Trust but verify. Exactly. By the way, Sam, this is Clem, my right-hand man. He's in charge of the Applied Force Department of my business here. Hello, Sam. Ochen Priyatno, Clem. Clem's boys couldn't invite you here at a better time. The dock deflects the wind somewhat, but still... Just look at that. Yeah. Had I stayed there, I'd be halfway to Kansas by now. Not that I want to go there. <laughs> Where do you want to go? <laughs> Though, wait. Uh, how about we have a good smoke and hear your story first, Sam? Won't say no to a smoke. Even though there isn't much of a story, really. Middle East, Afghanistan, then Moscow. I was on the embassy guard detail. Happened to be in the metro when shit hit the fan. Quite a lot of people survived there. And then, we just sat in the tunnels for 20 years, thinking we were the last people alive in the world. How come? A perimeter of jammers. The leaders were in the know, but kept it under wraps. For 20 years? But why? Haven't got a clue, really. A friend of mine learned the truth, 
and with him the whole squad I was with. We had to run. Across the continent, we had a train. At Lake Baikal, we split. I went further east and kept going until I ended up here. If my dad is still alive, he could still be waiting for my return. He'd be over 70 now. I haven't got much time. I see. So you're looking for someone to take you home. Yeah. People don't just sail across the Pacific nowadays, unlike the old times. But I can take you there on this sub. It's rather cool than Canton. You're right, Clem. Could I help somehow, Tom? And how did you get the submarine in the first place? It's a long story. Uh, perhaps just an executive summary? Well, I am in a hurry, but not to such an extent. <laughs> well, in that case, I'll start from afar. Oh, by the way, I almost nailed Tennessee Sour Mash here. No proper aging, of course, but the flavor is basically right. Want you drink with us, Clem? Uh, I'll drink my own. I don't really get that fancy stuff, Tom. <laughs> it was just the first failed batch, you know? Uh, but suit yourself, of course. <laughs> To our meeting. To our meeting. To our meeting. Wow. Got a show. Oh, yeah. What did I tell you? So, ready to listen now? I'd been doing business here before the war, mainly on the international weapons market. The locals had lots of money and opportunities, but no connections and style whatsoever. That's where I came in. Clem handled the relations with our local partners. Just before the war, Enterprise was starting to gain momentum. But then the bombs fell. You can guess the rest. Yep. Our company had a competitive advantage, though. Warehouses full of weapons. And Clem's boys in charge of guarding those warehouses. <laughs> then we entered a phase of dynamic growth, and a few years ago learned of a flourishing settlement here in Vladivostok. The place was governed by the ex-captain you met before. Uh, he did do a decent job of it, I must admit, but was not ready for the ongoing war against bandits. That's what we offered to help with. The captain took the deal and was not disappointed. Klim found a radical solution to the bandit problem. Yeah, you can still see some hanging. Right. And then we learned that the sub was operational all along, and the captain never even thought of using this immense opportunity. How was he supposed to use it? Obviously, you're not a businessman, just like him. Naturally, to everyone's benefit. For so many years after the war, mankind has been barely holding on to life because there was no force left to unite the survivors in pursuit of restoring the civilization. But we, we could create such a force, a new state, the true shining city on a hill, to lead the whole world to new accomplishments, to turn the apocalypse into a new beginning. We won't even have to shoot. Just drop the anchor in view of any settlement, open our missile ports, and they will readily give us everything and accept our power. Mm. Oh, do you find this inelegant? It would be just a statement of fact. We are power here. We are the force to lead everyone into the future. I see. So, what do the captains say? Oh, he went ballistic and tried to get rid of us. But when he saw his game was up for good, he ran away. Which means you get to decide where to sail now, right? Certainly. There's just one slight problem. The sub's all right, but its reactors need to be refueled. But only the ex-captain knows where to get the fuel rods and can control the procedure. Regrettably, after our falling out, he wouldn't even talk to us no matter what. Yeah. A lot of things starting to make sense now. Great. Then I can offer you a deal. Sam, I'd like you to be our negotiator. Make that fossil understand. If he helps us get the fuel, we leave the settlement to him. We'll find a better base in no time anyway. 
Of course, he's also welcome to have all crew members who won't follow me. And once we get the fuel, San Diego will be our first destination. Deal? Deal. Sam, you'll need some protection as our burly man. I'll send my best guys. Thanks, Clem. But I prefer working alone. <laughs> oh, that's some true grit right there. Hey, leave Sam be, Clem. He can handle it. <laughs> Whatever you say, boss. So, we have a deal. Still, if you are going to represent us in negotiations, we'd better equip you to our standard. Uh, Clem, please set Sam's radio to pick up our frequencies. Sure. Here. Now for the important part. The map of the area. It's as exact as it can be, all things considered. Plus, it shows all the captain's hideouts we know of. You should check those first. Done. Spasibo, Klim. Well, radio's taken care of. As for the rest of your gear, drop by the shooting range. You'll be issued everything. Have some rest first, though. You had a long day. Thank you, but I'd rather go now. I prefer to strike iron while it's hot. <laughs> well, your choice. Thanks, Tom. Guess I'll be going now. The storm's already over, after all. Good luck. We'll of keep course. in touch. Just leave -o. Just leave -a. Bye. Tell me, Tom. Why? Why what? Why did you not let me send my boys with him? They could catch the old goat cleanly and quietly. Oh, enough. I know you're cleanly and quietly. Your boys fucked up for good when they let him get away. The captain himself, I could forgive. We're keeping tabs on him. But where's the EXO? The others? We're looking. Looking? You've been looking for almost a year now. And now the captain is our only chance. Don't you see? I just can't trust your boys with it. Well, but you can trust this passerby. He's an American. So what? I don't know him. You don't know him either. But I do. He survived in Moscow. He survived there, and then he came here. Well, if you say so. I certainly do. And enough of this. Uh. Do you have anyone watching the passage to the upper marsh? <laughs> Observation post. Two guys. Good. Tell them to be on the lookout for our guest. Provide him support if need be, and tell that to everyone else. Got it. Let's think of where he could even find the guy. Where was the captain seen? Everywhere. Pick a point. How about here? Right under our noses. The pool? <laughs> Lobsters. He stopped using the place long ago. I see. Here? Uh, too many foglies. He won't go there. I oh, think he wouldn't? Hmm. How about here? That new gang I told you about. Fogly catchers. <laughs> yes. Uh, how about the car dump? Uh, there's a bat wing there now. Yeah. Even the captain wouldn't take it on. The fire depot? Uh, occupied too. More fogly hunters. Hmm. What about this place? Howdy, Uncle Sam. You're expected at the shooting range. Boss's orders. It's that way. Cross the bridge. Ah! 
Hi, American. Okay, I think I got this. Time to check ignition. This is ground control to Major Tom. Nah, your circuit's dead. There's something wrong. Damn it. I knew I was forgetting something. Let's see if it works now. Engines on! <laughs> you really made the grade. No. <laughs> oh, come on. It's closed. Ugh, but why? It's just closed. This why is it closed, man? Closed for special service. What the hell? I only need to zero my gun in. Won't take long. Well, it will just have to wait. <laughs> Ugh, look, I won't take long. If I could, I'd let you in, but I have orders. Ugh, all right. Aha! Here's our guest. Come on in. Spasibo. Hey! How come you let him through? Wait. Didn't you hear the announcement? This guy just came from America to see the boss. <coughs> no shit! How did he get here? He was parrot dropped from the orbit. All his stuff burned up on re-entry. So the boss wants him to have our best gear to prove his hospitality. Ooh, damn! That's so awesome! So, you're the American. <laughs> We're checking our stocks here, you see? And you're expected at the range, over there. Ah, I've been expecting you. My name's Daniela. I'm Tom's gunsmith. The boss wants you geared up ASAP, Sam. So I'll cut straight to the chase. First, your universal detector. There are mines all over the ruins, so never leave home without it. It can also detect spare parts, weapons, lots of things, actually. Nice. Indeed. Now, your new rifle. This looks familiar, but different. It's a local make, optimized for our home brand of incendiary ammo. It accepts regular ball, all right, just not the standard mags. Don't want our idiots ruining their old rifles with the hot stuff. Thanks. I'll take good care of it. Ah, glad to hear that. I guess you're all set now. You can test it here. My assistant has a couple of mags ready. This one should not just feel familiar. It's the real McCoy. A 45 automatic. Straight from Tom's premium stock. We have sold quite a few of its siblings here, but this one's been fine-tuned to the max and hasn't seen a day of use past its shakedown. So it won't fail no matter what. Here's your ammo. Good luck. Don't mind if I do. Try to hit all the targets. Oh, I always wanted to see a real marine in person. <laughs> nice! Not bad. Amazing. Great shot. That's what I call real shooting. Simplify. Look, I can appreciate art of shooting like nobody else here. Thanks for the show. <laughs> Thanks. Ah, that was truly amazing. Here's your prize. All in a day's work. Well, I won't be holding you any longer. Good luck, Sam. Thanks, Daniela. See you around. Sure.
so. Did you get geared up? Weapons zeroed in and all that stuff? <laughs> yep, everything's fine. Great. Good luck to you then. Charge now is okay, my book. I doubt that. He screws one man, he screws everyone else. Compare it to the second best offer. The bandits outside take it all and kill you. If they feel generous, you get to die quick. The cat, though, once he takes his cut, will see the deal to the end and make sure the final buyer treats us fairly. So, what do we do now? Now we just wait for the cat's man to come check our cargo. Good. I can do that. <coughs> Why is just one fishing boat coming in? Where are the shipments? The traders will be here in a few days. What the hell are they all thinking? Huh? Oh, you're that American we've been told about. Did the boss say anything about the shipments? They're late! Sorry, no idea. <laughs> well, I guess he doesn't trust you that much. Or maybe even he doesn't know. talking about they're looking right at us are you sure it looks like your regular schmo to me I'm telling you it's the American <laughs> someone we already got one <coughs> well yeah but ah, get off his case already who cares Instead of wasting your energy being excited, save it for fishing. We have a long day ahead. All right. Hey, uh, how about more of that soup? <laughs> Help yourself. There's some left in the pot. Oh, don't mind if I do. <laughs> Any more of the same left? Uh, yeah, should be. Uh, check the counter. Hey, there's a bug in my hash. Damn right there is! <coughs> what did you expect, foie gras? What the hell? Didn't it say meat hash in the menu? It still does, but bugs count as meat. The last time I checked, they weren't listed as vegetarian. <coughs> what kind of logic is that? If you ain't gonna finish it, I'm putting it back in the pot. You know what? Fuck this joint! I'm never coming back! <coughs> Good riddance! You never tip anyways! What a selfish dick! I say it's time we... take a break! No! I want another... <coughs> drink! You had enough! By the Lord, I have not! <coughs> it's you who... had enough! <laughs> Yes, I had. Come on. Stand straight, huh? Ah, uh, lie down. <coughs> and then we'll have another drink, huh? Eh? <laughs> this is good stuff. Want a sip? No, thanks. I don't want to spoil the taste of my smoke. <coughs> spoil? <laughs> it's seaweed, anyway. Yes, but it's good seaweed. While well, your drink is half piss and half toxic waste. <laughs> At least it has a kick! <laughs> sure, <laughs> I can feel the stink from here. <laughs> your smoke don't smell like ozone, either. Tastes good, though. <laughs> Bah! Tastes schmaced!
So, he did let you pass off the role? Not before wearing my patience thin like his black soul. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> uh, still, your fee is a bird now. Free. I feel like age 10 years. Well, you certainly look the part. <laughs> Fuck you too. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, Uncle Sam, howdy! Fine. You want to look at a port? You've come at the best moment. We haven't been this busy in ages. <laughs> Makes you wonder, though, why all these boats decided to arrive at once. There's a queue, for Christ's sakes. Well, you're welcome to look around all you like. Eh? See ya. Thanks. Hello there, our American guest. How do you do? I heard you saw the captain. How is he? Don't answer. I know it's tough for him. If you see him again, tell him. Tell him we haven't forgotten a thing he's done for us. And we're ready to follow him anywhere. Ah, we're still there. checking. But yes, there's definitely some missing. Any suspects? Uh, yes, duh. Yeah, there's this clown, Babyface. He took off as soon as we came to check on him and locked himself up in his cabin. Uh, good. The no. guys are trying to get him out. Uh, I know him. I always thought he was suspicious. I'll go check up on them. All right, we'll carry on here. Move again. Hold it. So. You don't like Tom's new direction? Look, I know you're trying to provoke me, but I'm past caring now, so I'll just tell you straight. I don't like Tom and his business shtick, but that's not what's killing me. It's the way he took over. It's the way he got rid of the captain and all the officers. And it's Gleam and his goons that I hate. I also think Captain was right. Nukes mustn't be used no matter what, and it's good that the sub's out of fuel. Ready. <laughs> you can run to Klim now, and have his flunkies drag me away to his torture chamber. There, I said it! Now piss off! You don't have to shout like that. I'm not going to report you or anything. <laughs> yeah, right. Tell that to the others they already took away. <laughs> Fucking creep. Nice. They're gonna love it. <sighs> Damn. I still can't believe we got one more American here. Uh, sorry, none of us really expected to see any American save for Tom. So, how's it going? Any progress? No dice. The fucker's got a good lock on this door. No matter. We'll get him soon enough. Uh, but I didn't steal anything! Yeah, right! I like your tale! Let's hear some more! <laughs> I guess I'll stay and watch then. Get some popcorn. It's gonna get really exciting when we open this fucking lock. Hello again, American. No hard feelings, right? No hard feelings. Great. The boss told us to find your nice boat, and here she is. Looks nice enough. She handles well, too. Just take the wheel and use the remote box, like the stick on a car, and you'll be fine. We even installed a compass. Yeah, don't leave it unattended, though. It's got pure spirit inside. <coughs> also, mind the inertia. At full speed, it takes some time to stop, even if you switch to reverse. And please, bring her back in one piece. Yeah, she has a lot of sentimental value for him. Ha! 
indeed she does. Well, she's all yours. Good luck and calm seas to you. <coughs> Goodbye. <coughs> До свидания.